Like, you're supposed to be torquing those. I'm gonna torque with this. Ooh, very nice. We hate tires. We did the hard tires already. We didn't put that on camera because it's terrible. It's awful. Uh, these two tires over here were not fun. We're thinking about going all bead locks just because all you gotta do is do that and just get them done. So we've almost got all, all of them on there. We got one more, I think our right rear we're gonna put on here and uh, we're gonna probably bust out the Van Cheapstein. Uh, super excited. Uh, it was a vast improvement from what we, we were just using your basic iron before, which is back here. Uh, we just, we've got this set up just for a Cyper now. Uh, that way we can uh, Van cheap scene. One person can do that and then one person can sipe, uh, you know, double down our time. But uh, anybody want tires, they can have them. Come and get them. <laughs> so this one here says 95 yeah yeah right we'll see about that yeah we'll see about that they're like the weathermen they can <laughs> they can lie about their job all day long right. and it'd still be okay give me that uh, airline what do you want oh yeah you got the other side popped out no i need this handy tool love it need one that locks on but yeah we could probably just get a new end for that when it locks on right probably we're filming work at the same time yeah no cameraman today he is uh off to a buddy's house to uh enjoy some social time Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, hold this for him. Oh yeah, here it comes. It's gonna blow up in our face. Wait for it. We haven't had a real loud pop yet. I know there's always one that gives us a good loud pop. We got one little spot down there at the bottom. And sorry. Let's see. That's kind of working its way around. Oh, there it comes. There it goes. Oh, that was a little weak sauce. <laughs> that was a little weak sauce. <laughs> All done? Yeah, all good. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love the new white walls. Uh, we could do the uh, drop thing. Oh! The song of the Hoosier people. <laughs> Everyone loves the sweet sound of the. We might have to dub over that with some good <laughs> some music. <laughs> All right, we'll come. We'll check back with you when we get this one done and uh, discuss how we're gonna cut these things. Yep. All right, so we've done it. We got it. This is what you guys all been waiting for. Say hello to Tyree. <laughs> if you guys can tell, that's not how we spell tire in America. But, old Cheapstein's done good for us. It looks just like one, heats up, burns, uh, does good for us. Uh, let's see what else here. This is gonna be our right front tire. We've chosen a pattern like this, and this 1350 here. And then we're probably gonna do some, I don't know if you can see this, but probably hit some sipes on here. We are allowed to do that at our track. Uh, probably across this board right here. We'll sipe these and maybe do something on this side. Not much tire on that side. Uh, touching. But uh, 
we'll do what we can. Uh, anything while you're eating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anything extra? <laughs> mm. Well, if you want to try a burger like that, excuse me. Where we bought it from? Mm, that one came on eBay. It was an open box item, so it was even cheaper than retail. And we were super nervous about whether it would work or not. <laughs> it did take us a while since nothing is written in plain spoken English. It took us a while to figure out how to get the dial set to get the temperature and everything just right. But um, it was a third of the price of a Van Alstein Tiger River. And I think it works as good. Right. We're not pro late model racers, so we don't cut a lot of tires, but which is why we can't justify a yeah. five or six hundred dollar tire rear. But um yeah, it works great. We're gonna do uh, probably time lapse some tire work here since it's kind of boring and that'll speed up the process some and we ain't gonna get them all done today, but we're gonna yeah. get a good start on it. So yeah. let's do it. All right. Well we were gonna start the time lapse, but <clears throat> it's taking us a little bit to remember remember how to get our wrist and everything in the right groove here but he's doing pretty good it's coming along looks pretty sweet still nowhere near done by any means especially when you gotta pick all these little stupid things out anybody want a playground stuff works great for it keep cutting let me roll it This is when you need your kids to come out here and make them earn their allowance. <laughs> no doubt. I think that's what we did last year, wasn't it? I don't know. If you paid by the piece, you go broke. Oh, well, we'll just charge like dog coin there, you know, half a cent a, a strip. <laughs> Yeah, tire work, about like body work. It's part of the racing deal, but doesn't mean you have to like it. <laughs> Some people really like doing it. <laughs> to me, it's boring, monotonous. Messy. Messy. Probably about time for a new blade for the cheap steam here. Before too long. Don't last forever. No, we got some. We got some good blades, huh? Almost there. We see the light of the light at the end of the tunnel. Whoop, whoop. At least for the diagonals. <laughs> Man, we still gotta do the verticals. Yep. On average, it takes us about, I would say, two hours per tire. From start to finish. Are we going to have a short row? <laughs> I don't think so. I think we're right on target. Where we need to be. Well, what they need is automatic ejectors on these things. We'll just sweep afterwards. Make sure you don't get your finger in front of Tyree either. Mm-hmm. You get it really hot. All right, not too shabby. Nope, looking pretty good. Now we gotta do our verticals on our outside edge to give us one more block. Yep. Let's see what that looks like. Nice.
Look at the smoothness he's got. It's like he's been working tires for years. Yeah. Our auto rotator tire is not working too good. <laughs> I think he's working great. <laughs> There's that mouse. Come on, man, finish that block. It was already done. What? He oh, was... what is that? Look at that, what is that? Well, yeah. Wow. Drunken tire green. You ain't even had a lick yet. Oh. Ooh, doubles. Draw my name in there, cursive. Give us some suggestions on uh, how you guys like to cut your tires. Uh, we're up in the air, our, our tire rule, we're allowed to do anything to our 1350s as far as groove and sight. Uh, let us know how you guys uh, do it, if you guys have any special, special ways you do it. I feel like tire grooming is one of those things where you can ask 10 different people when you're going to get 10 different answers. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it depends on if it's clay. Right. Do you need to do that side? Not really. It's, not in the, it's up in the air. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. One down, 38,000 more yep. slips, grooves, sipes, and grooves to go. Beautiful. On to the next one. Shoo, get the 92 cut up here. Trying to decide, we feel like we've got too much block here. We need to cut this down either another way this way, maybe even, probably not so much this way, but definitely this way. We're gonna get our little blades out, see what it looks like. The old Van Cheapstein's been rolling strong for us. Very happy. We got the other tire cut down there already, so gonna have to pick out a few more. Drew's got all of the wonderfulness here, all the different types and sizes. Yeah, we're we're just gotta one. pick us out something here. Ooh, that's see a big where one. we're at. Ooh, that was a big one. There's I don't a think square we need one. to go with that big one. There's a square one. Yeah, there's look at that one. Big. I'm thinking more like this. I think we got some of those in a pack. All right, well, we're gonna make a big decision here, swap out on the Van Cheap scene and keep a couple more grooves and I think this is gonna be our last tire. We're gonna call it quits here, we're getting tired. Get late. All right, so still got the 92 right rear. We decided to take the big box down half this way and then uh, we went ahead and put some sipes in there to kind of get an idea of what we want it to look like at the end. I don't know if you guys can see the sipes in there very well. We did them cold with just a just the razor blades. But we'll we'll heat them up. And get the rest of it done. Yeah. Hands are getting tired. Like we said before, it takes me and Drew a long time to do a set of tires for our car. We are we got a long way to go. <laughs> We're just lagging some like automated equipment here or something. <laughs> uh, it's very manual labor intensive and I think we're going to call it a wraps. I'm pretty tired. We've got some other stuff we got to get done for the uh, for the days over here and it's going to be a wrap for Late Model Garage tonight. Appreciate everybody watching our videos. Uh, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Tell us how terrible of a job we did cutting and <laughs> siphoning the tires or give us some advice or just hit the like button. Appreciate everybody. We'll catch you next time.